Excuse me? The Underverse. What? What is that even supposed to mean? The Underverse is the polar opposite of the Oververse. Where, where we come from. It's a place where nothing can live. Where nothing can interact. A place where you can touch but where you have no feeling. A place where you can see but with no color. Where you're lost but can never be found again. We're trapped. I may be a, a, a cosmic being of nigh unpossessable power, but this, I, I can't get us out of this. Well, this place has inhabitants, doesn't it? We can just find someone, can't we? No. No, not not now. I, I I I don't think so. There's just this place is hidden. It's cut off from the rest of the Oververse for a reason, guys. We aren't supposed to be here. Whatever your machine did, Richard, it. It wasn't supposed to. What that thing did, how it brought us here, is unknown to me. But I can tell you for one thing, it wasn't supposed to happen. This... We shouldn't be here. Because at this point, I don't know what to do. We try to talk to the inhabitants of this place, we could be caught up in something that we have no idea the effects of going forward. Interacting with anything here could lead to billions of deaths up there. We have no choice but to stay. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. But that, that's the truth. So, we should just make like everything else that lives here. Play dead. Because that's effectively what we are now. Well, for one, I think we should look for a way out. There's bound to be people here. People who know what's going on. People who know how they were sent here. Maybe they can help us back up. Not everything is without hope. Whether you believe that or not. It's not belief, Walker. It's knowledge. I'm the only one who knows that. I'm the only one who knows the stakes and the problems of us being here. This, this shouldn't... Travel to this place shouldn't be possible. That's, that's how improbable this is. It shouldn't be at all. The amount of dangers that exist with us being in this place, it's, it's immeasurable. There is so much that could go wrong with just us three being sent down here. The amount of things that were sent down here purposefully it for reasons that I I can't explain to you but the things that have been sent down here were sent for a reason and we should not interfere with that we should lay low we should lay dead because nothing and I mean nothing up on the other end deserves the fate that things that are down here can bring. The entities here can cause more pain, more suffering, than you can even fathom the entities up there can. The things that have been sent down here to this Underverse. You think 
The negative is terrifying? You think that is a problem? No. Compared to the negative. These things are giants. The negative is but an ant staring at a boot. That is how terrified we should be. All right, we get it. This place is bad. Then <laughs> we should be finding the way to get back up, yeah? If things shouldn't be interfered with down here, then why don't we avoid those things? Why don't we, why don't we try to find a way out on our own? Using our own devices, our own knowledge. You're a smart guy, Bruce. I've learned that over the past two months. You gotta have something up that sleeve of yours. I do. But I don't think either of you are going to like it. At this point, it doesn't matter what we like. What matters is that we get back. My family, Melina. She's alone up there. She has no idea what's happened. We have to hurry. And besides that, who knows what Scarlatina and his men are doing to our machine by now. We... We have to hurry. We have to get back, no matter the cost. I know of a place we can go to. It's a certain section of this place that... <sighs> While I don't want to visit it, it's the only real choice we have. I know someone there, and I think he can get us out of this. Well then, let's be off then. <sighs> I just hope this plan works. Time is of the essence. You said no one could live in this place. That it's an entire civilization, an entire city. What? What did you mean? Look around you. These people aren't talking to each other. They're talking to themselves. They've lost their minds down here. They've lost everything that's made them, them. Their souls, their very beings, aren't intertwined with each other anymore. They're not whole. They're broken. And it's all because of someone I know. My father. He was not the most kind to those who didn't respect him. And people down here paid the price. So who are we gonna see? I mean, you said these people who have lost their minds, they, they don't know what's happening, so... Who are we visiting? Someone who hasn't completely lost this shit? In a matter of speaking, yes. Someone who hasn't completely lost their shit. It's... Someone I knew. Um, a long time ago. I didn't know him that well, but he was a crafty individual, and he knew how to travel universes and all that, and from what he told me, he should be able to get out of something like this pretty easily. I can try to get some sense into him if we find him. 
This this place is a labyrinth. I mean, anything, anything could be here, including that. A tower of bursting red energy? What does that mean? That's a negativity cancellation beacon. That, that shouldn't exist anymore. My father got rid of those millennia ago. <laughs> Excuse me, millennia as in thousands of years? Who are you, Bruce? What, who is your father? I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> I know that somewhere in this city, my friend is here though. That's what matters, not my father, of all things, that is not what matters. <sighs> so, <sighs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of how we could get to him. Mr. Daylight, it's been a while since I've seen you. <sighs> Hello again, Zadikus. It's been a while. Indeed it has. So, who are your two friends? They weren't here the last time I saw you. Huh? Oh, yes. Uh, sorry. Um, Christopher Walker, Richard Price, meet Zadikus Tempest. He's an old friend of mine and a frequent traveler of universes, even though there were definitely times when he shouldn't have. Need I remind you that you were the one who encouraged me to do so, mate? All right. It's nice to meet the both of you. As he said, Zadikus Tempest, owner of Reminiscent Industries. Come with me, gentlemen. And we're supposed to just trust you. Why? You were set here by the beam. The machine that you've created using his technology. Lennon's. I know him. Come on, let's not waste time. We need to get you three back up to your world. Because if we don't, things are going to be pretty chaotic. And how are you going to get us back? Bruce said you knew ways of travel. Yes? What ways are those? I'd prefer it if you didn't put us back. How we came was fairly painful, I'll have you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, the staircase. Anyway, come on, we needn't waste any more time. Bruce, are you sure we can trust this guy? I knew him for many years when he was back in the Oververse. I, I trust him. <sighs> Although, I will have to say, Zadikus, you've changed quite a bit since I last saw you. 10,000 years sure do go by. Anyway, let's move on. <sighs> what is this place? This, Christopher Walker, is the main settlement of Reminiscent Industries, the company that I own. Well, I've never heard of a Reminiscent Industries. Never, not once. Who exactly are you? I, Mr. Price, was a first celestial. <laughs> what? Yes, I resided in the archive within the empty spoken of in fairy tales. But my methods, as general of the Chaos Archons, grew radical, according to the Brother Sazair. I was stripped not only of my rank and wings, but was cast down here, told to make do. And what I found was nothing short of staggering. And that was, you see, in the written scriptures within the archive, it was said that this Oververse we reside in 
is but one of 20 different iterations. The 19th, known as the dead zone, were not and the negative was sealed. But the other 18, completely destroyed by the above. I found out that those scriptures lied. Wait, so you mean to tell us that- Yes! The previous 18 were not in fact destroyed. They were sent here, an abandoned mess of tangled, all too dissimilar realities collided haphazardly together and told to make do not only intact, but with every entity still alive inside of them. And so I stepped up to create order, control the chaos, do what our Lord above could not. All right, yeah, Bruce, I'm sorry, but your dad sounds like kind of a douche. I have elected to ignore that comment. <sighs> Zadikus, as much as I'd love to talk and catch up, we need to get back to the Orphers. Not th the negative escaped since you left. The three of us have built a design, designed to capture him, and potentially our hope is to put him back. Has he acquired a vessel? Yes, uh, unfortunately one of ours, Nova Rosaric. She gave in to Nod's temptations out of grief and she appears to be able to bend negativity with ease. She's destroyed entire planet Zedekus. This is the one shot we have before she gets any stronger than she is. Then your plan won't work. At least, not for long. You'll need one of our devices. Since the last time I was in the Oververse, not coming back was apparently a high priority project that we were supposed to cease from happening. And because of that, I knew he would come back, at least somehow, whether from some idiot trying to disregard their orders or something along those lines. It's how it happened, yeah? Yes, but not from someone anyone else would expect. <sighs> Zadikus, it was Marcus. One of the oh, <laughs> that is rich. One of the brothers Salzar here, release not, and the negative. <laughs> How convenient is that? Let me guess, because Caesius, the pacifist that he was, wouldn't allow Marcus to go forward with the Archon project more forward than he did with Deliverance, right? Oh my god, it's so convenient, really? It's like a cycle. Your father, the above, stopped not from taking away his responsibilities, and he went too far with them, except this time it's reversed. Marcus wanted to go too far, and Caesius blatantly disregarded his feelings and ignored him. Don't you see, Bruce? It's a vicious, endless cycle. <laughs> and I was the only one who realized it. I was going to be the one who took things further. I could have broken it. And that is why I've prepared the energy in this place, you know what it is? It's anti-negativity. I have come up with a formula for energy that depletes negativity as soon as it enters. Any given space that has this stuff, negativity is destroyed, instantly annihilated. Now, think of what that could be like up there. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? You want to destroy not. I don't. I don't want to kill my brother. I want to help him. I can't kill him, Zadikus. Locking him away is the only way for this to end. 
then I suppose we're at an impasse then. You can't get back up without my help. But our goals don't intertwine. So, here is my ultimatum. You go back up there. You go free. But, not only are you going to take me with you, but if it comes to it, you kill him. You don't try to save him if it comes to it. You don't try to save him under any circumstances. You kill him. He's caused enough damage already. You said it yourself. He's destroyed planets. He destroyed the last Oververse, leaving only one island left. You saw his fury. It's untethered. It can't be stopped. So, that's my compromise. You want to go back up? You kill him. Zadokus, I will not kill my own bro- I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, you heard me. Bruce, you don't have to. Give the device to me, Zadokus. I'll put an end to this bastard. You sure about this, mate? Don't want to see this end peacefully? Peace isn't what I signed up for. I signed up to keep my friends safe. And that's what I'm gonna do. Now here's what's gonna happen. Bruce, we go back up there. We turn our machine on, whatever we gotta do. You get not here. I'll give you one chance. One. To try and talk him out of this. To calm him down so that we can try to end this peacefully. But if that doesn't work, you know what's going to happen. You know what has to happen. I'll kill him. Because I want this to be over. I want to get my life and Chris's life back on track. And if it means killing someone, then I'm fully prepared to make that happen. (sighs) Okay. Uh, Okay. I, I, okay, yeah, that's fair. I understand. So, Zedekus, how do we get out of here? Well, didn't I already tell you guys? You take the staircase. I'll show you. That is a very big staircase. Yes, it is, Mr. Daylight. That is the staircase back to the Oververse, but no one ever tries to go up. Well, why not? Surely, the staircase can't be that dangerous, can it? Because every staircase has a door at the very top of it. And those doors can lead anywhere. What on earth do you mean they could lead anywhere? That, that doesn't make sense. We're trapped down here. But the first door we go to leads anywhere? What? How does that work? It's not exactly what I meant. What I meant is that these doors, the first one you go to, will trap all three of you in a separate room from each other. And there, you will be faced with someone meaningful to you. Whether that be a loved one, someone who's deceased, or someone who exists in your future. It's all dependent on the road you take going forward from here. This figure 
will challenge you. Try and figure out your motivations. See if you're truly up to the task of going back to the Oververse. Because if you're not, well, you'll be sent immediately back. Why, why, why does that matter? We all know our motivations. We know how clear they are. I think that's just a whole bl- fucking waste of time if you ask me. That's not the point, Richard. I think I know. Most who go back up to the Oververse just want to go back. They don't actually have a reason. And so they're chosen as unworthy, correct? That leads them right back here. Because without a reason, the Oververse itself won't let them back. They were sent down here for a reason. And so without another good counter reason, it just won't work. Then I suppose all we have to be is honest and confident with whoever the figure that approaches us will be. You said it could be anyone. Yes, Zadikus? Anyone from our past, present, or future? Not exactly. Someone who has a connection to you. Not someone you'll definitively meet, but someone whose life is, in a way, intertwined with yours. It's complicated, to say the least, but you have the general gist there. Alrighty then. I suppose we start climbing those stairs. It's a long way up, and who knows where the first door is. Agreed. Let's start climbing. Now hold on. Just a minute. I need to talk to this man. Richard, come with me for just a moment. Will ya? Okay. Bit of a strange request. Oh, yeah. Bruce, this has to work. I can't imagine what the situation up there is now. I've heard of Arthur Scarlatina before. He wasn't... <laughs> he wasn't exactly the most kind-hearted of people. Not exactly the brightest in terms of how he handles his passion. Our machine could very well be destroyed up there. <laughs> really? Walker, do you think I just put one defense mechanism on that thing? <laughs> That's funny. I've got several. Even if Arthur tried, he wouldn't get through that thing within the next thousand years. Alright, we're ready. Gentlemen, let's move. Remember one thing that I told you. You have to be completely confident and honest with the figures that you're going up against. This isn't going to be easy for any of you, I don't think. You could run into people you've never met before, or you could meet people that you love. Whatever this thing is, it'll try to attack you. It'll try to bring you down, but that's why you need to be confident and honest with yourself. Because that is what's going to help you out. It's what's going to help you win. Good luck. One more thing before we leave, Zadikus. If I might ask, why haven't you tried to go through? You see, mate, that's the thing. I already have. I've tried to go through tens of hundreds of times. It hasn't worked for me. I just hope you have different luck. Mm. Thank you, Zadikus Tempest. And I hope that someday we will meet again. <laughs> Mate, it would be a pleasure, but seeing where I am, I do have my doubts.
So, are we just gonna stand here or walk through the door? Guys, come on. It's right in fucking in front of us. Let's just go through already. Well, forgive us if we're a bit skeptical to walk through it. <sighs> sure, we're confident in our knowledge of what we're doing here, but... You heard Zadikus. We're not sure what's gonna happen if we walk through that thing. None of us are. Well, why not just take the shot? It's right there. Five feet. Not even. Go. Vamos. Go on ahead. Well then, if you're so confident, why don't you go on ahead first? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's the, what's the problem with that? Yeah, I'll go first. Um, you guys sure you don't want to come with me or something? Oh no, we're enjoying this one far too much. All right. No, 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 nope, not trusting that, bad juju, he just fell in, what the fuck, Christopher? <laughs> fuck, that hurt, that, that fucking hurt, ah, <sighs> Figured you'd be here eventually. So, you're the one who's gonna try to talk me out of this, I guess. I don't know about you, Ethan, but I'm pretty confident in my abilities here. <laughs> Imagine thinking that this'll work. I have half a mind to take off the ring just for that stupidity. What the hell do you mean stupidity, Ethan? I know this isn't you, but... <laughs> I know that the you in here isn't the real one. So why, why would you say that? You know what I mean. It's even in your name. It should have been clear to you by now. Especially at this point. What do you mean it's in my fucking name? How, how does that, how was that supposed to make sense? To either of us, huh? How, tell me, how does that make sense? Every single player in this game can pay a toll. Every combatant in this battle will pay a toll. But of them all, you'll be the one paying the <laughs> richer price. It was all laid out for you. You just chose not to see it. No, I chose to believe in something, damn it. I chose to believe that my friend would keep his word. I chose to believe that someone I know nothing about could actually be good to me for something. <sighs> you believed in me, Ethan. That's why I don't believe this shit. I'm confident in my abilities. <laughs> what do you even hope to gain from this? Recognition? Fortune? Power? What could possibly entice you so much to lead you down the path of intentional suicide? A better world, damn it! I hope there's something better on the other side of this carnage. That's what I hope to gain. A better life. A better reality for a friend whose son is about to be born. For his wife who's sitting all alone in her house, worried and filled with anxiety. A better life for my husband, who's sitting at home feeling the same. That's what I hope to gain from this. A better life, a better existence, not just for me or my friend, but for everybody. That is what I hope to gain. It's not what I hope to gain. It's the hope that others can gain something. 
then I do suppose we all carve out our own way. here eventually. So you're the one who's here to encounter me. <clears throat> well, I'm confident in, in what I'm here to do. I know what needs to be done so you can go away. I can't imagine why you think this is going to work. It was a suicide mission from the start! A suicide mission, maybe. But this is something that only I can do. Only Richard, and Bruce, and Leonard, and I can do. Only we can. That's why we're trying. Because we believe that maybe something can be done. Maybe something can be made better out of it. What I have done here, I have done for you, Melina, and for our family. You have done nothing for us, leaving me? Unborn child, and for what? A goal that you don't even think can work? I do think it can work, damn it. All right? I do. I have belief in my friends. I have belief in Bruce. I have belief in all of us that we can do this, Melina. I know you, Christopher. You're an optimist, sure. But you're also a realist. You knew this mission was damned from the moment it started, but what did you do? You stormed into it thinking you could subvert those expectations. Change it all for the better. But now, what has it cost you? Nothing yet. It hasn't cost me anything yet. And I will refuse to let it do so. I will save our family. I will save you. And I will save Richard. I will save Bruce. I will save Leonard. And everyone else in this goddamn Oververse. You hear me? I will get back up to you. And I will save everyone. Because that is what I am meant to do. That was a hard landing. Oh, man. So, who is here to fi- Who the hell are you? Oh, yes. You don't know me yet. I'm someone you're looking for. Someone close. And yet, so far out of your reach, you decided to get three other people because you couldn't find me. Ah, uh, it, it, it's you, it, the guardian of memories. It, how, 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 how is this possible? This is, this is amazing. What's, what's your name? Who, who are you? Where are you? Oh my God, I've been looking for you for so long. I... Uh, this is amazing. 
Where are you? Tell me where I can find you. I'll get back up there as soon as possible. I don't think it's that simple, Mr. Daylight. I know you, but you don't know me. Not yet. Not in this moment. You will in the future, though. You'll find me, eventually, rest assured. I can only tell you my name. But trust me, it's a pretty common one. That's all I need to know. Just, just tell me your name. I, oh my god. This is, trust me, with what you can provide, this is a, a surreal moment for me. Samuel Barrington. I don't know where I am currently in terms of your timeline, but I do exist. At least I should, otherwise I wouldn't be appearing to you in this form. So, what is it you're hoping to achieve? I mean, the, the thing that I've always tried to do. Put not back. Or at least not, not kill him. I never want to do that. He's my brother. It, best case scenario, I want to help him. Worst, he goes back. And what if you can't do either? What if there comes a day when you're faced with naught? Eyes locked, bodies prepared for battle. And you are the one who doesn't get out unscathed. You're the one who suffers a loss. What if you're the one in the end who's defeated? <laughs> I... That won't happen. I've defeated him once. I can do it plenty of times over. I mean, hell, I control the entire expanse of all planets in the Oververse at one point. And I handled that easily. What's, what's one little brother? One little brother? Well, I suppose that's one way to save family. <gasps> you? Uh, uh, Spare me the pleasantries, son. Just call me Percy. I have half a mind not to call you anything. Where have you been? The entire Oververse has been in shambles because of you. You left. You left all of us to fend for ourselves with no guidance. And because of you, Nott is gone. What were you thinking? How could you just leave? I did what was necessary for our survival, son. For my survival. You think that these Oververses were the first? No. There is so much more to time and space and existence than you even know about. You are but one of many insignificant children that I have placed under watch of an Oververse. I am so much more than you will ever be. To me, you are nothing. Oh, don't I just know that to be the truth? Because you left! You left me! You left not! How could you do that to your own fucking children? When they needed you the most, when I needed you the most! How, how could you justify that? How could you possibly justify leaving your own children, your own sons, when they needed you the most, when one of them killed your own daughter, damn it? How? How do you justify that? There was so much chaos. We had to rebuild it. I had to rebuild it. I was alone! It was a mess! You should have been there! You should have been the one to clean it up! Not me! And yet, 
You did. While I can't say I'm proud of your every achievement, that one I can say you did a bang-up job there, son. Oh, don't you call me your fucking son! Tell that to not! You left him! Tell that to my sister! You left her to die! Tell that to the brother Salzair! Who went through the same fucking trauma we did! Tell it all to the Celestials who have perished! Who all of them have died and gone extinct because of you! Tell that to all of them! Why don't you? Why don't you come back and, and, and receive the words from all of them? Because I'm damn sure they would want to have some with a fuck like you! Do not underestimate me, my boy. While I may not be here in corporeal, physical form, I can still hear every single word you are saying right now. And trust me, this is the real me talking. Not just a voice in your mind trying to sway you to the other side. This is me. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Take your intimidation tactics somewhere else, goddammit. I owe you nothing. I owe you no conversation. I owe you nothing. So you get out of here. You get me on the right path, right back to the Oververse, because I'm going to fix your problems, as I always do. You hear me? I'm going to save not. I am going to save Richard and Bruce and Christopher because you can't man the fuck up and do it your goddamn self. You hear me? I am done here. Hmm. Then I suppose. We all do have to carve out our own way. But, <laughs> in the end, as usual, it seems like you have taken the most foolish. Wait, Arthur, just hear us out. I got an explanation for this. The, the, the machine. Everything. I have an explanation for this, okay? Just listen, put your guns down, and we'll tell you. We don't mean any harm here. Well then, how are me and my boy supposed to know that? <sighs> I'll trust you this once. Put your guns down. Put them all down. Let's hear them out. But if you three do anything, anything, at all, Causes me or my men alarm, I'll have them shoot. Okay, so, we just got back from... As ridiculous as it sounds, another plane of existence. But we found... This. This vial. It's... Think of it like... Um... What would that be called? A shattering potion? You pour this thing onto something and it disappears. It's dead. Kaput. But it only applies to negativity. The thing that we were researching with that machine. Okay? That's... That's why we made that thing. That thing is created in order to capture an... A darker entity than you can even think of. And what's that then? What do you call something like that? It is known as Not, otherwise known the Negative, the code name that we placed upon it using our systems. With the knowledge that you have, Arthur, you read through the files on this machine. You read through them all. You found them. It doesn't matter how you found them, but you did. 
You know what the negative can do. Correction, lad. I know what you said it could do. Not what it actually does, or if it even exists in the first place. Something like that? An interdimensional being of high energy, high power, capable of destruction of worlds at a time? That doesn't even make sense. Look, it doesn't make sense because you don't let it make sense. We've all read the stories. The Archive, The Above, The Brothers Saw Zaire, but that's the difference here. Those were stories. This is real. Everything you've read, everything you've heard about, with Odeon, Marcus, Caesius, all of that, it's true. It was written as a warning because the negative is coming. We want to put an end to it. Well, how do we know you don't just want to help it? Blimey, talk about conversation rehash. Would we be showing you this file if we didn't? You can go ahead. You can be the one to throw it if you want to. But we are bringing the negative not here. Because that's the only way we can end this once and for all. As crazy as it sounds, Arthur, you know that we're being genuine. You know through our facial expression. You know through our tone and what we've brought to you now. You know that we are being truthful about this. This is serious. You know we're right. And my guess is that you don't want this place to burn as well. You don't want this planet to burn. You don't want your life to end. Your, your, your legacy to burn along with you. But through us, we can work together. Sir, are you sure about this? Oh, I've known you, Richard. For a long time, nearly 30 years, we've been friends. Until the incident five years ago. I didn't trust you then, and I still don't trust you fully now. But, yes, Christopher, you're right. I know that it's true, and I know that it's serious. So I suppose my men and I will do anything we can to help the cause, so long as none of us die in the middle of it. Do you three got that? Got a little girl at home. She needs her father. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Now. Let's get this project moving. It's been two days. We're ready. <sighs> I'm very, very nervous to do this. Mrs. Galatina has men set up on all walls to this facility, prepared to take down any stragglers of the negative's forces when it comes. Anyone who goes through that portal, they'll be dead in a heartbeat. All right, then I suppose Let's press that button. <sighs> and see my brother. But before we do, I want to let you all know that your potential sacrifice is thanked. Any of us, potentially all of us, could die in this encounter. The negative is more powerful than we likely believe it is. This has been a 
perilous venture for all of us. But now that we're on the cusp of claiming victory, this is a moment that we should have just for a little while before the chaos begins. I say, Bruce, I gotta tell you something, man. At the beginning of this thing, I didn't fucking trust you. I didn't even like you. Now, I gotta say, you're like a brother to me, man. You've been through a lot these past few months. And while I still don't have too much of a fondness for you, I think we can call ourselves friends now. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Is there anything else anyone would like to say before we begin? Oh, yes. Um, Bruce, I didn't tell you, but... A long while back, someone visited me. It was only for a brief moment, but he seemed familiar, like you. And he told you that... He, he told me to tell you that he's sorry for everything. What? Who? He said his name was... Percy. All right, gentlemen, we don't have enough time. <sighs> Let's press this button and, uh, I guess, be on our way to the end. Uh, okay, yeah. We can sort that out later. Just a few more codes to input. And the negative will be right on top of us. It's been a pleasure working with you. Both of you. <laughs> but it will be much better when it is all said and done with. All right. It's ready. Hey, Arthur. Is your team prepared? Oh, yeah. We're ready. Press that button, and give that fucking cloud a bit of hell. I can't believe that we're finally doing this. I didn't want to believe it was you. You were supposed to be the most kind out of all of us. The one who took care of everything. But instead, look at you now. Holding the power of destruction incarnate in your hands. Well then, I'll just have to make you believe. Bruce, yes. How nice it is to finally see you again. Are you fucking shitting me? That's what he sounds like? Richard Price, Christopher Walker, Arthur Scalatina, and Leonard Chapel. It's finally time I rid this universe of you pests. Come on then. I faced you once before. I can do it again. <laughs> but what is a ruler? without his lovely assistance. <laughs> New toys to play with. <sighs> Devil in Dark. 
I knew you'd show up one day. <laughs> I just didn't know when I'd meet your damn face. Oh, don't be so insulting. And now, it's time for us to take over this world. Burn it all to the ground. Hey, you bitch! Nova, was it? I got a little something for ya. And what, pray tell, is a glass of blue liquid going to do to someone like me? What are you going to do? Splash it on me. That's exactly the intent. You fucking idiot. Devlin, send them out. Yes, indeed, mistress. No! What? Where are we? We're on the outskirts of the city. How did she... Then we'll just have to take the fight to her. No, 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 no! Bruce, I know what things look like right now, but we have plans. We have backup plans to our fucking backup plans, man. This ain't over. It can't be over because we aren't standing inside that tower with our heads high. We haven't beaten that bitch. This isn't over. Richard is right. This isn't over until we say it's over. I know this seems awful. At the very least, but we can still- You two don't get it! You don't get it at all! This is what happened before. In the archive. No matter what we tried to do, she would take us down. And with each attempt, she would kill another one of us until... Until only Thorm and I were left. We couldn't stop her, no matter how hard we tried, no matter what we tried. This, this is the end. We can't win. It's all because of me. I brought you both into this. I made you leave your homes, your families, your city. Survive a suicide mission. I know this looks like the end, but we've got hope, Bruce. We tried the negotiations route. Now, we take back the tower by force. How can you be so optimistic? I forced you into the face of death, both of you. And you're talking to me like I should be proud of that. Like it's something to be happy. How are you both? Both of you, standing there, with smiles on your faces, thinking we can do this! How? <laughs> Bruce, it's because you needed us. Listen here. What did you say to me when we first got into this thing? What? I... I, I don't... What? I, I, don't, I don't remember. That if we were going to get this done, we needed heroes. Not cowards, not quitters, and certainly no whiners. Now I don't know about you, but there's an entire city over there that's in desperate need of some heroes. So either you're with us, or you're out of here. So, Bruce Daylight, are you with us? <laughs> you sound... Intensely confident, Richard. What changed? I, uh... I don't know. I guess I just got a kind of second wind. Doesn't matter, though, does it? What does matter, however, is how we get back to the tower. Well, I don't necessarily mean to rain on the parade, Richard. How do we get back? Not... Uh, the negative, along with Nova, has invaded the tower. It's not like we can just walk in and say, Hey, can we come back in so we can destroy you somehow? That just won't work. It's suicide. Don't worry. I've sort of got a plan in mind. It's just not the most 
cost effective of planes to ever exist. I don't know whether to be afraid or proud of whatever the hell that means. Hold on. Hey, Arthur, you and your men still alright? Yeah, we were all sent to random places in the city. What the fuck happened up there, Rick? I'll tell you everything. Right now, though, I need you to get all of your men, including yourself, down to the old warehouse on 78th. The one you and I used to work in there together. Bring all of them, every single person you have under your command. Richard, why that? The only things left in that warehouse are the... Max. Richard Price, you're a mad fucking genius. You got that right, you bastard. Now go! I'll meet you there in about ten minutes. Well, what do you need it? Us to do then, Price. It seems like you're the man with the plan on this one. I need you two as reconnaissance. Need you to both sneak into the tower and find out what the hell is Nova is up to in all this. And if you can, keep her eyes off of the streets. Father and I are gonna do what we aim to do. We can't have her looking anywhere. How are we supposed to distract her again? She is tied to a being who is destruction and rage incarnate. Please tell me you have better than just wing it. No, Chris. I'm telling you, you need to just fucking wing it. <laughs> Should I have expected any different of a response? If anyone knows me, Chris, you'd know that any other response would just not be my style. Then I suppose, my friend, this is goodbye. At least for now. Until we get this entire plan in action. <sighs> Can we not do the whole goodbye thing? I hate goodbyes. I mean, hell, realistically, if you don't say goodbye, no one's ever really gone. They just... not be here for a while. I suppose it's a better time to ask than any. Richard, are... you? Are you okay? I'm trying to be, man. I've just... I've got a bad feeling. That tonight is the last one the three of us will be underneath the same stars. So, let's kick that bitch's ass and prove me wrong, huh? You got that right. <sighs> Indeed. We'll meet with you and Arthur when you've enacted your plan. We'll see you soon. Hey, Arthur, glad you can make it. You're a crazy man, Richard Price. Even for you, this plan is inspired. Not exactly the word I would use. No matter what either of us think of this plan, it's realistically the only one we've got. We just need to get your men inside of these mechs so we'll have enough firepower to assault the tower. Which one are we piloting? The Big Betty? The Big Betty? Richard, are you insane? No one man can pilot that thing. And that's why I've made the necessary modifications to do it. Now, two men can pilot the Betty. Rick, I take back everything I've ever said about you. Okay? You're not crazy. You're insane. Then it's probably a good thing I got married to someone else. You would have to have two crazy gay scientists under one roof. <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, you still would be a good partner. Yeah. Look, we can talk more when Entrada is saved and the sky is in blood red from negativity. Come on, let's ride the Betty, make history, and save this fucking city. delay any longer, my lord. No, we will wait. I will have my duel with Perseus. Only then will you have your key. 
I beg your pardon. Remember, dear child, I am the one who has given you the power of negativity. I am the reason your beloved is still alive. I don't think you remember not what I have done for you. I am the only reason you exist in this reality in the first place. Without me, you would still be in the dead zone. Without me, the archive would still exist. And more importantly, without me, you wouldn't have a vessel to latch onto. The only understanding that we will come to is this. We will harvest the key right now before our plans can be put astray. Only then will you have your battle with Brucius. Do I make myself perfectly crystal clear? Yes, Madame Sorik. You will receive your key. Devlin, start the machine. <laughs> yes, Master. Right away. She can harm not. She is a lot stronger than I thought. But that potion Richard threw at her. I don't know how to explain it, but she's more on edge. She's slipping. If we can amplify that, we may have a weak point. We have a weak point. We can defeat her. She spoke about a key. What did she mean? There are eight verse hubs, as they're known spread across the Oververse. Not part of any multiverse, but at the same time, part of all of them at once. Legend has it that if you harvest enough of a single hub's life force, you receive a key. Get all eight keys? The legends say you become the next above. The next god. And you said there are eight, yes? How many does she have? Only one. It was placed inside the archive. The planets of the other seven are Excelsior, Alvania, Requiem, Remnada, Triaxi, Kirishka, and... <sighs> Entrada. <laughs> this planet is a verse hub? Why do you think I came here first? To warn you. This planet was on her next trajectory, but when I learned about your connection, to the Guardian of Memories, to Samuel as I know him now, I found out that you wouldn't just be able to save yourselves. You would be able to save all of reality, Chris. And you couldn't have told us that from the start? We would have been a primary target of hers, no matter if you came to help us or not. What would have happened then? What if you didn't see us? What, would we just be fresh lambs to her slaughter? Chris, this doesn't matter right now. What matters is that we might have an opening for her. We might have a chance to win this war and to get rid of her and not permanently this time. It doesn't matter right now? What doesn't matter? The, the fact that myself, my wife, my unborn child, Richard, his, his husband, all of us, could have died if you had made one simple mistake and not told us. What does it matter? Our lives? This is... This is certainly something. Chris, you know I didn't mean it like that, man. We have a, an opportunity here. Those details they wouldn't have helped. They wouldn't have helped either of us. The only reason I came here, though, is because of that. And look at us now. We are on the brink of solving a conflict that could have taken centuries if I hadn't have come here. Look at us now. 
a conflict that should never have come to us. A conflict that only was brought up, brought into existence because you couldn't do your job. Oh, don't you fucking go there. You know what? <laughs> this is, this is so typical. I try to help people and then they push me away. Do you know how many times this has happened? Walker, listen, I don't care what your feelings are against me. I don't care if, if you feel betrayed. I'm here to help you. And you know what? That's what I've done. The whole time I've been here, I've helped you. So you take your anger, you, you take, you take all this shit somewhere else. All right, we have a job to do. And if you want me to leave after this is all said and done, go ahead. Expel me from the city, from the whole fucking planet. I won't care. But we have a responsibility here. Whether you're ready to man up or not, it's up to you. Meanwhile, there is a woman in that room who is prepared to kill both of us if we don't try to stop her. Do you want to die protecting your city? Or do you want to die swallowed up in the negative? <sighs> I'm sorry. It's this entire situation, all of the stress it's getting to me. I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't mean what I said. I just don't know if any of us are going to get out of here alive. And I don't want anyone, any more lives, to be torn apart by our conquest to make things right. And there's an entire city of people down there who could become victims us, to both of us. I do have to ask, before we do this, what was it that you mentioned with Percy? You said you met him in a vision. Yes, I did. It was months ago. He said he would meet me before the end, whatever the hell that means. And he said for me to apologize to you for everything he's done. Does that mean anything to you? <laughs> it means more than you think it does, but it's a lie. After everything we experienced in the Underverse, I don't trust him anymore. I mean, I haven't trusted him for a long time, but our encounters down there really made me think about where my loyalties lie. If you don't mind me asking, who is he? He said he knew you, and I have a guess as to who it may be, but I wasn't sure. I didn't speak with him for very long. The only relationship status I can bear to compare us to is runaway father and abandoned son. Who you spoke to that day was my father, the above. Taken a human form, I guess. I spoke to him too, down in the Underverse. That's who came in my vision. <sighs> I haven't trusted him for a long time, but that my encounter with him. That really made it clear that he's not to be trusted by me. All right. So, how are we gonna do this? Well, I believe the best way to handle this is to get to the machine. That machine is a ticket to potentially completely capturing naught. It's the only device that has ever been made, according to Leonard, that can possibly do it. Damn it. If 
If only she hadn't sent out that EMP. Then we could talk to him, get this problem even more sorted out. But I guess we're on our own. Um, I've got an idea. I can distract Nova. Bruce, are you crazy? She has a bloodlust against you. She'll kill you if you even try. <laughs> yeah, um, about that. You haven't seen the full scale of my power, Christopher. I've trusted you with a lot, but I don't think you realize just what I can do. I can hold my own against her, at least for a while. I don't know what her abilities are like now, but knowing that she can take on Nott with ease, it's a little bit disconcerting, but I can hold her for a while. You get to the machine, and you try to capture Nott. We already brought him down to the atmosphere. So, if we can get him any further than that, that's a win. Got that? You with me on this thing? I don't know about this. But it seems to be the only option we have. It's time. Start the process. <laughs> Gladly. Wait, what the hell is that noise? I advise you to take a look outside, Madame Rosaric. There seems to be resistance. Resistance? Against my order? Richard Price. We need to get this thing moving. We need to start now! Of course, mistress. Oh, shit. If you even think about pressing those keys down, I will fire. Ugh. Christopher Walker and Bruce. I thought I got rid of you two. You thought you did. But it turns out you didn't. Not for good, at least. It seems your underling's spell needs some more work. Shut it! We're about to mine a hole through the surface of this planet. You think you can stop us? Compared to the strength of our beliefs, think is a pretty lousy word. <laughs> You're fools for thinking you can do this. My power surpasses both of yours by a landslide. Do you really want to do this? You're giving us no other choice. What more can we do? You're about to take the life of a planet and all of those who live on top of it. There is no way where you are morally correct about this. You have no idea what the people have been through here. You have no idea what I have been through because of you. You tore apart the archive. You tore it apart like it was nothing. You killed everyone. And yet you still think you have the moral high ground on this. You don't understand the lengths I've gone to. You don't understand what I'm protecting. What I'm working towards. You never cared. I have to save her. Her life is worth more than anything. I have to do this. For her. I understand that you're trying to save a life, Nova. I do, and I get it. Losing the people you love is the most painful thing anyone can go through. She was your wife, I get it. But this, taking over everything, destroying all of it. Who, what, who do you think you are? You don't have the right. You don't have the right to just choose one life over trillions. Over more than that, you don't have the right. It's not your decision. The lives of these people are their own. And you need to get that. Please, 
I don't want to hurt more of my own. Because of negativity, I don't. But if you force my hand, I will. I have to do this. Please, let me do this for her. Nova, listen. Bruce may not have someone like you do. But listen to me, because I do. My wife, Melina, I love her more than anything. We have a child soon to be born. If you do this, if you go about trying to accomplish what you have been, you will ruin that life. You will ruin that chance. That chance for things to be good. Tearing apart families. Tearing apart entire livelihoods, friendships. This entire city is built upon the foundation of people who love each other, who care for each other. And if you do this, you will ruin all of it. So allow me this. Allow me to say this. Don't do this. And maybe, maybe we can come to a solution. Maybe we can rise above this problem. Rise above the mistakes that were committed in the past. Try and figure this out together so that no more blood will be spilled, no more violence. No more lives will be destroyed from this conflict. Please. Trust in us. Because we know what it is like to lose the people we love. We know the desperation and we know the feeling. So please. You don't have to trust in Bruce, but please, trust me. Even after everything I've done, even after all the lives I've destroyed, all the homes I've wronged to ruin, all of them, and you'd be willing to forgive me. Yes! Don't you get that? You're not beyond it. You're not beyond peace. You're not beyond redemption. You're doing this for someone you care about. That alone deserves a chance. Please, Nova. Bruce, you too. I know we can figure all of this out. We need to. This can't end in blood and violence. It doesn't have to. It can't. Please. Both of you, this needs to be resolved. It has to be. What say you then? Are you willing to work with us? Because that's what I've wanted to do all along. I've wanted to help you, to help my brother. I've wanted to resolve this peacefully. I've never wanted to hurt either of you. I've never wanted to. And if, if we can do that, if we can resolve this peacefully, if we can find a cure for her, if we can put everything at peace, it would give me no greater pleasure, no greater satisfaction. I am willing to set aside everything for this, Nova. Because I believe that there is a chance. I believe that there's a chance for everybody. I believe that there's a chance for you. And I believe there's a chance for you too, Mon, if you're listening. There's a chance for everyone, no matter what harms have been committed, what wrongs have been committed, the lives that have been lost, Yes, they've been lost, and we will have to work through that. 
but you aren't past redemption. Both of you are more worth it to me than anything to try and get this done. Nothing you've done is beyond forgiveness. Please. been doing this so long, for so many years, I never thought it would be possible to be forgiven. So many lives, so many worlds, I've destroyed all of them. I can be forgiven by you. But is there truly forgiveness for me? After everything I've done, is there really forgiveness? Am I able to see past everything I've done, even if you are? Those lives, that blood, it's on my hands. I can never take that back. I can never take back that decision. I don't know if it's right. I don't know what's right anymore. I don't know. I just, I want to see her again. I want to be with her again. Listen. This. The ambition. The desperation. I know what it's like. It's what I've been doing the past months of my life. Fueled by the desire to save those I care for to keep their life by my side. And you've committed wrongs. You have. But it's not beyond kindness, beyond forgiveness. Nova. I understand what it is to lose someone. My daughter. I don't talk about her very often. And I haven't spoken to her in 18 years. I mistreated her. I did everything wrong. And when she left, I made a promise to myself to make sure that that decision would never, never be laid down on another. I would make up for my past. I would make up for that mistake. Sarah may be gone, but I'm not beyond forgiveness for the mistakes that I have made. Just take my hand, and this can be resolved. I'm begging you. Please. Help us make this work. And you will never have to pray for your beloved safety again. Because you will always have it. Then I suppose it's time for us to start again.
Thank you, Christopher Bruce. Let us accomplish this together. What the? No. I told you I'd get you back for that. I told you I would. You've ruined everything here. So I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end this right here and now. Richard, you just shot her in the head. You're asking us what we've done? We were about to make a deal with her. We were about to end this. We were about to stop everything that's happening here. We were about to save the city and you just ruined that chance. You have ruined this. I just saved all of your asses. You should be thanking me. I can't believe this. Can't believe what, Bruce? That I actually have the balls to do something? That I actually have the guts to do what's right? That I actually have the gall to end our enemy? What? What can't you believe about me doing that? What was out of character for me? The fact that you had no idea what you were walking into. We were in the middle of a peace meeting. We were about to save this city. We were about to convince her not to stop. And you just killed her. You've killed our only chance at winning this. This is, this is now an impossible battle. We can't do anything now. Can't you see that? The only thing I can see is that Nott is nowhere in the room and Nova is sitting there dead. That's the only thing that I can see. We have won. Wait. Not. Where is he? You thought you could destroy my vessel and get away with it. You thought you could make peace and forget about the reason why all of this is happening in the first place. You forgot about me. Fuck. You think I would just stand for peace? You think I would just stand to make things right? Well, no, you're wrong. I only desire to see all of you corrupted, all of you destroyed, and you, Bruce, under my torture, and command for all of history to come. Everything will fall, and it's your fault. Well, what the hell are you supposed to do without a vessel, huh? You're up there, a little cloud in the sky. What the hell are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it, huh? Smite me? As a matter of fact, what I have in plan for you is much worse. You destroyed my vessel. I will revive her in time, however. I will send you out of this existence to somewhere very, very unpleasant. What the? Chris! Bruce! Richard! Richard, no! Not! This wasn't about him! What have you done? Bring it back! And to you, Christopher Walker, you really thought that you could convince Nova? For peace? For tranquility? No. I think I'm going to offer you a different solution. And I can offer it to you too, Not. I don't believe anybody here is beyond saving. I think this can all be resolved if we just try to. No! I will not stop until this Oververse is rid of everything. Everyone deserves to die. My father made that very clear to me a long time ago, so it will be done. And I'll start with you. <coughs> Chris, Chris, no, 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 not, you can't do this again, I won't let you! Then do something about it, why don't you? Come on, let us have our duel as we once prophesized. So many years it's been, do you still have the strength to do it? I don't care, I don't care anymore about our duel. I don't care about the past. I don't care about your mistakes. I want you back as my brother, as my family. All of us back together again. I know it can be done. 
I don't care about this feud anymore. I don't care about what father did. I just care about you. I care about what needs to be done here and now. I don't care about your little feud with us, about your little tantrum anymore. I don't care. Then I will strike you down here and now. Brother, if you don't care, then prove it. If you don't care, then you won't fight back. And with all the power of negativity, I strike you dead. <laughs> I don't know what I can do here. I can at least pull it out. I can at least pull it out. <coughs> Bruce? I'm sorry, Christopher. But he's only gonna be held for a couple more seconds. I have to leave this time. Bruce, no! No, 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 no. You don't have to. You don't have to do this. We can, we, we can send him away. We do, we have the power to do it with the machine. We, no. There has to be a better way to resolve this. You can't do this. Christopher, you listen to me. You listen to me, man. I have to. I can't risk this world. I can't risk you. Richard's already gone. Everything's gone so wrong. I brought this upon all of you. I have to make the sacrifice. I have to duel my brother. This needs to be done. You can't leave. There's so much more. Send them away. And then and then we can find a way to, to bring Richard back. To make it all right again. Please. You can't do this! You've been inflicted with negativity! I can't risk that! I have to send Nod away, along with myself. You can't come into contact with anybody else. I can't risk it spreading, not again! I have to leave, or else everything I have worked for, for thousands of years is destroyed. I'm sorry, Christopher, but this is the way it needs to be done. This is the way it has to go. I don't want to do this, but I have to. Then don't. We can find another way. We, we need to. I don't want to lose you both. I can't, I can't do it. I refuse. I can't lose the both of you. You're my best friends. I know. And that's why this is going to hurt so much. Don't! No, no, Bruce, Richard, Bruce, no, 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 no. My God, no, no, no. It's been... 10 years since the battle. Since the negative. 
and I've grown tired. I've grown weary, my mind filled with things that I can't bear to think about any longer. What do I do? What have you been doing in that time to keep your mind occupied, per se? Raising Jack. I've invested our money in case my death causes a fallout. One of the companies, unfortunately, went into bankruptcy. Edward, his name is Edward Michaels. One of the stockholders. His family went under and... I, I wish I could help him. I wish I could help all of them. But I can't. At this point, I can't even help myself. I wish I could be with him longer. You understand, right? I know exactly what it is like, Mr. Walker, to lose time with those you love, either from obligation or from mistakes. I know what you're going through, and I can empathize. Emma? Am I going crazy? Am I going insane? I just want this to end. You are, yes. You've gone mad. Your mind is failing and your heart will follow in the coming months. But realistically, Mr. Walker, what is madness? But the sensitive side of sanity. What makes you and your failing mind so different from anyone else? Everyone else. <sighs> You've carried a large burden, Mr. Walker, for a long time. You don't have to any longer. But I'm the only one who can. I don't want to force it on anyone else. Melina, Jack. <laughs> Richard's gone, and Bruce, I don't even know where he went. They're all gone. And there's no one I can turn to. No one but you. As fate would have it. Christopher, you've carried this burden long enough. You need not carry it any longer. The events that have transpired. As it pains me to admit, you can move on. Now, that everything is set on a course, on the correct course. History taking its shared path. You don't have to. You don't need to live with the pain any longer. In fact, you don't have to live at all. Are you saying? They're all better off without me then. At this point, what more can you do? Your body is refusing you. Your mind and heart are collapsing. Every single piece of you is refusing to cooperate with what you want it to do. Well, I don't say. Ending your own life is favorable. 
while it's not a good way to go. At this point, Christopher, it would be the best way to go. Then I suppose I must thank you, Percy. Will they, will they be all right? Yes. Jack will grow into an upstanding young man. Become the leader of this place, this city. Become greater than you ever were. And Melina. Yes. She will be all right. She will mourn. She may even delve into habits you may not appreciate, but if anything, she will protect her son. Thank you, Percy, so very much for seeing me this one last time.
this reality, there is but one truth. An ending is never proud. An ending is never sufficient. An ending will never be enough for people. Endings are hard. That's the long and the short of it. Endings are the hardest of projects. I don't want this story to end. I really don't. But if that is the direction that this story must take, than an ending we must have. I know what happens next. I know the consequences of what is coming. I know what will happen. I know all of it. I will not be the above as I once was. I will not be the ruler that I used to be. <sighs> we all really do have to carve out our own way. But the way I carved in the past was not a righteous one. It was unfair. unwise and unrealistic. So yes, we do have to carve out our own way. But the one that I have carved is not the one where I will stop. I will write a new chapter in this story and I will see it fulfilled. <sighs>